us how each of you got into music. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure, I'll go first. Um, when I was around, so when I first got into music, I was about, uh, I say nine or ten years old. I was uh, playing the video game rock band on the drums, and uh, it just appealed to me because I was pretty good at playing those rock band drums. And uh, on my tenth birthday, I got started taking drum lessons. Um. I got started playing music uh, on piano when I was about eight or nine years old. I did that for a couple years and uh, I really didn't like it all that much. So um, at around ten years old I quit playing piano and um, at eleven I picked up a guitar and just took off from there. When did you come together as a band? Well we came together as a band about um, uh, when did we get together? Uh, four years ago. Four years ago? Four years ago. No, uh, when the when the band started. No, we met. Oh, four as a years band. Ago. What? Um, two and a half. Years. Two and a half. Two yeah, two and a half years ago. Um, so yeah, four four years ago, I met Chase at a summer camp hosted by the gr the great Fernando Jones, um, and basically they just taught us how to play in a band and uh, how to inter interact with other musicians, and um, we got. A, accepted when well, we joined another band and uh, eventually Chase just asked me to be his drummer for his s solo yeah. stuff. Sometimes it's tough to be in bands because you have so many different personalities. How has that experience been for you guys? I mean, we all have similar personalities. We get along pretty well. There's no drama ever. Has it been hard balancing music, school, and in everyday life? Um, well, I manage being in the band, it's kind of like this, uh, school always comes first, so, you know, if my school grades start dropping, I kind of try to do less with music, um, but mostly, like, when we do shows and stuff, it's on the weekend, so, you know, school's not really a problem, unless it's over the summer, which, at that point, we're doing a lot more shows. Uh, at some points, bouncing school and everyday life and uh, playing in this band is pretty tough but I mean it's all about time management you know um, for me I do school when it's time to do school and then every other times I uh, do music so as a band you played all over the country can you tell us some of your favorite shows or venues hmm favorite performances I'd say Gator by the Bay was really cool. Yeah, Gator by the Bay, I'd say definitely both times we went to IB, IBC in Memphis. Yeah. And uh, um, the Fox opening oh, for Kane yeah. Loggins. That was a good show. One of the cooler ones. Um, opening for BB King at the House of Blues, definitely. Yeah. Um, Which was with the other band. Yes. Um, playing in Seattle. It's yeah, that was cool. cool city. Yeah. What inspires your music? Um, for me, uh, I'm really inspired to write music, you know, whenever I hear something that sounds good. Um, I might, you know, one day come up with the chord progression and, and go from there. But, um, I don't know, just hearing really good music can a lot of times inspire me to create good music. Is the band currently working on any new projects? Well, uh, currently we are in the making of our second album. Currently, no, no title. Mm -hmm. We got like four songs recorded. Actually, um, I think we got seven songs. So seven, seven songs recorded. Never yeah. mind. Um, we're in the middle of that. Um, writing a few songs right now that are not complete that are going to go on that album. Um, but that'll be out sometime in September, probably. What do you guys like to do away from music? When I'm not doing music, uh, I'm either playing video games or doing schoolwork. That's mostly what I do. Well, when I'm not playing music, uh, I'm definitely doing schoolwork. I'm playing soccer for uh, high school and club, also playing video games, pretty fun. Um, 
hang out with my friends. That's what that's what I do. Yeah. What or who has inspired your music the most over the years? Uh, for me, the person who has influenced me most musically is Mr. Kofi Baker. Um, he was my drum teacher for a little while. He's the son of Ginger Baker, and uh, he's just taught me um, a lot of things about drums, a lot of different styles. Made me into the drummer I am right now. For me, one of my biggest influences was going to the uh, Blues Kids of America summer camp because um, it's really where I learned to play with the band and uh, how, it's where I learned how fun playing with the band can be. That's what I want to do. Where's the best place to stay up to date with the Chase Walker band? Um, you can keep track of all our shows on our website or you can follow us on Facebook or join our emailing list, which is also on our website. And that is chasewalkerband.com. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. These interviews are made possible by the support we get on Patreon. For pledging as little as a dollar a month, you get some great benefits. You get to watch all the videos a day earlier than they're posted publicly. You'll get invited to our monthly Google Plus Hangouts. And we're also gonna be giving away some great prizes to our patrons. And remember, the best benefit of all is knowing that all the pledges go towards promoting indie musicians and getting their music out to as many fans as possible. Thank you for your support.